cut NASA by a quarter, cut its science nearly in half, shut off spacecraft from Jupiter to the edge of the solar system, kill rocket clubs, internships, future missions, and climate satellites that literally tell us if our planet is dying. Do you think when Star Trek The Next Generation said, Space, the final frontier. They meant final, as in we're now done with it, because that's how our current administration is treating it. I don't know if you've noticed, but funding for America's beloved space program isn't being trimmed. It's being actively dismantled with no end in sight. What was once an apolitical pride point for the country, and the world for that matter, is now a partisan debate. And that's new, even for a president hell-bent on denying and defunding science. U.S. taxpayers used to put men on the moon, and now a handful of billionaires are monopolizing space exploration as a hobby akin to pickleball. And these billionaires? Well, they have no obligation to the public, no accountability, and no guarantee that they won't wake up tomorrow and decide they're bored with this grift. I'm Akila Hughes, and today I'm asking, how is it better to gut NASA, and with it, climate research, national security capabilities, and the future of exploration, and replace it with the whims of a few individuals? 